What you guys got another video on how to download and install Office 2024 from Microsoft for free. And that's what we're looking at in today's video. So first off, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and call it Office 2024, because this is where all of the files are that we're going to be using. Now, the title I'm using for this video is a pretty common title that you're going to see a lot of other YouTube channels using. And they're also going to be telling you to search for the Office deployment tool and download it from the Microsoft website. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and download the Office deployment tool like this and save it to a location. I'm just going to save it to the Office 2024 folder that we created on the desktop because we're going to need some other files so we can prepare this to be able to install it onto a system. So let me go ahead and we're going to go ahead and copy this file. Now I could have saved it straight down to that location, but let me go ahead and just copy and paste this into this location here. So there we have with that, our first file that we need. Next, we need to do a search for this next tool, which is called the Office Customization Tool. And this will take us to a website where we can configure our download package that we want to do. So let's go ahead and do this right here by clicking on this link right here. And once this is open, it's going to allow us to customize our setup. So you can see Office Customization Tool. You can choose the architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit. And then you've also got the uh, the selection of office suites that you can actually choose. Now you'll notice here that they're all volume licenses. And that's because when people show this on YouTube, which a lot of people do, and it's generally a lot of Indian channels that are showing you how to do this. And this is because uh, this is not really meant for home use. This is meant for businesses and companies to configure the actual office suite and then basically uh, send it across the network to a bunch of computers. So we've gone for Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 here, and it does say volume license. Next, you'll need to select the next option, which is the version. So we're just leaving it on latest, but there is other versions available. If you needed certain versions for that uh, company, you could choose a certain version or certain Office Suite that you want to use. So this is a genuine way of downloading the Office package to a computer. You can see we're going to choose the versions here, and there's a ton of them inside here. Just choose the latest version if you need the latest version. Next, you have turn on apps or turn off apps that you don't need or need. And this is a place where you can configure what you need to keep and what you don't need. So if you don't need Skype for business or you don't need OneDrive for desktop, you can turn those off. Next choose your language. There's a bunch of them to choose from. I'm going to go for English here, United Kingdom. And we're going to leave it right there because we've now configured our settings. But there is some other ones like installation, upgrade and licensing and activation, which we're not covering in this video, because like I said, that's for businesses. And that is really where you would configure that with a volume license and install it across the network to you know, 100 or 500 computers, and it would be very simple and easy to do. This is the part a lot of YouTube channels seem to forget or deliberately forget to mention because they're using the title Download and Install Office 2024 from Microsoft for free, and they generally use that. So now we're going to export this file, and we're going to be using the Office Open XML formats, and we're going to be keeping this one right here. And that's going to go inside our Office 2024 folder. So if you're looking to do this for home use, then don't bother. Just go to the Microsoft website and sign into your account and download the Office application from there. If you want to see another updated video on that, I'll do a video on that for you. We're just going to keep that file. It is the configuration file here. And you can see I've now downloaded it. And I need to put that into that folder. So let's go back to our Office 2024 folder. I'm going to install the Office deployment tool here. We're going to go ahead and say yes here. And we're going to accept their terms conditions and click continue. And now we need to select our folder. I'm going to install this into the Office 2020 
uh, four folder here. And that's now done. And once you've done this, you'll now see there is another setup.exe file inside there. And all that's done is it's read the configuration XML file and created a setup file for us to now install onto the computer. Now, what we're going to do here now is I'm going to copy this folder to our C root directory for easy navigation. There you go. And all you need to do now, there is our files inside here. So what I'm going to do now is open up our path, copy our path and open up our command prompt, type CMD and run this as administrator and say yes here. And basically what we're going to do here is type CD and then control V and push enter and it will put us into that Office 2024 directory. To install the package, all we need to do here is type setup space forward slash configure and then space and then configuration, just like so. And then we're going to be doing dot XML. Just that is what we need to type out. Push enter and you'll see the Microsoft installation window popping up. And it's going to use our configure file that we created and installed it on the system. Now, like I told you before, this is not really designed for home users. It's designed for businesses where they're deploying software and managing all of the software across the network to other computers. And you can see here, it's now going to go ahead and install the Office Suite on your PC. Now, of course, this can be deployed across the network to many computers, and it will save time because you can configure the package the way you want for certain computers and you would deploy that across the network. That's what it's really designed for. If you're a home user, there's no need to go and do any of this stuff. All you need to do is go to your Microsoft account, sign into it, and basically go to your subscriptions and you would see the products that you've purchased, your Microsoft Office products that you've purchased. You can then download the software from there and use your activation key and it will then activate. And that is the proper official way of doing it for home users. This is more for businesses. And again, the title, what they would normally use is what I've used here. Download and install Office 2024 from Microsoft for free. The part that you're probably waiting for is do you get a fully fledged version activated and you don't. And that's the big problem. And this is the part that they seem to skip. So when you go ahead and open up Word here and you open up the application, if I go up to, say, the account section here and we'll come down here, you can see it's fully working, but it's not going to stay like that for long. It, it will just constantly pop up this box eventually. So activation is required, as you can see here. And it says Microsoft Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024. Now, unless you have a product key to use uh, to activate this, then it's not going to work. So eventually what will happen is you could use this for a little while and the activation box will keep popping up and it will lock you out and you won't be able to use it. So this is the part they forget to show you. Now, there is some channels on YouTube that show the other side of activation, which I'm not going to go ahead and do on this channel because it's not right and it is, uh, you know, piracy, and I would not promote that on this channel. But as you can see here, uh, there is a part where you can enter the product key. Now, if you add the product key in there at that stage for another product, it will activate uh, a proper activation. But again, the way this is meant to be activated is via, uh, you know, KMS or the uh, Mac activation process and that would be done in the configuration part which I showed you earlier there is a section there which allows you to put in your details as a company and it will generally activate that way anyway I hope this video helps you out I hope this makes you understand that the stuff you're seeing online is not always what it seems and this should help you understand how it works my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I shall catch you on the discord server or I'll see you in the next video bye for now